welcome to your weekly forecast and this is for Feb 17th until 23rd. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Oh. Why are you running away? Okay, there is a lie or deception that you're going to be discovering. I also feel like some Leos will, will find out that they are also delayed or that they are pregnant during this week. Okay, dealing with somebody who is a liar and has been, tr has been deceiving you for quite some time. And that betrayal will also be discovered, you know. Um... You're going to know that it's with somebody who is younger than you or younger than your spouse. Now, you are trying to run away from a problem or you just don't want to deal with it, you know, right at this point. Because you've been feeling this for the past few weeks or months or years, you know, could be. But you've been trying to brush it off. You don't want to believe and you've been trying to discard your own instinct or your own intuition. And now this week, you will find out. That all along, all those red flags are not just red flags. It is a confirmation. Okay? Even though this is like a bombshell that will be, you know, dropped in your lap or dropped in your uh, doorway. You've been feeling about this, you know, for the past few months or few weeks. And now is the, the week for the big truth to be told. I just feel like, you know, obviously, all of us have to deal with a, you know, painful truth. But it is also something that will be releasing us, okay, from our failed expectations and disappointments. Now, some Leas will also find out that they are also pregnant, you know, during this week. And for those who's not been having some issues with their, with their um, relationships, good for you. And if you want to start a family or if you just simply want to have a child, then this is going to be a very positive week for you. Now, that person or your spouse has been dealing with is somebody that they used to work with, not, you know, not currently, but it is someone younger than them. Now, you will be discovering some more lies, some, decept some more deceptions, and some more uh, solid evidence of that. And, uh, you know, the, uh, the betrayal that had, that had already taken place. Um, this is just the start of dealing with it. But you have to think for yourself, you know, how long should you be blinded? And how long should you be going through with this, you know, with all these lies and deceptions and... Um, fakeness, okay, or a uh, fraud thing, or fraud pattern. Yeah, both of you have been wearing masks, and uh, your partner has been wearing masks for such a long period of time, and you're also wearing a mask of in denial, okay, because you're so afraid of admitting to yourself that, oh my god, you know, that again. Anyway, even if this is the case, you will rise from this occasion. Uh, sorry, sorry, you will rise from this occasion more stronger, more smarter. That even though there are some things that you don't want to feel currently, that is what's going to be releasing you and liberating you from all of this pain. And this is also the week where you're going to tell yourself that I don't really deserve that. I deserve better, okay? And I deserve to be happy. So, this is the week where you're going to be making a big decision, but don't be too hasty, okay? Don't rush into anything, don't make any impulsive decisions, and I feel like you just need to be a little bit more open-minded, okay? And whenever that your gut instinct is telling you something, or whenever that you feel like something's a little bit off, you know, try to listen to your intuition and get down more into details because I feel like there has been some signs and red flags, you know, or signals or something like that that you just discarded because you're so afraid to confront the idea, you're so afraid to confront, to confront the truth that it is really ongoing, okay? Especially if you're with another fire sign that is older than you. You feel like this person is, um, you know, their promiscu uh, promiscuity is, it's like it's never going to end, okay? 
if this situation has been eating you up and it's no longer serving you well, then I feel like, you know, you already know what to do. You don't really have to ask, oh my god, you know, I found out that it's all official and it's already confirmed. What should I do? What should you really do, you know, to deal with this kind of situation? Now, some Leos will also have, you know, very good luck in, the, in their career right now because I feel like you will be chosen to represent the company in an international conference or international exhibition or an international meeting, okay? Especially if you're bound to Asia or around Japan, Korea, or something like that, okay? And you will have a very successful dealings or very successful meetings with them and you will go back to your office or to your company with a big smile on your face and positive, okay? You can do this and you are gonna be showing off the good side of you or, you know, whatever you you're very knowledgeable about or you're very skilled about you can do this you will do this and your management especially your boss will be even more proud of you that even though your love life is going through some you know um landslide i feel like your careers and your finances will be making up for it you know i mean not everything in life will be very in favor of us or not every time you know um, all the circumstances will always be in our favor or will always be, you know, under our call. Sometimes you just need to adjust whatever the universe will be giving you. You just need to be a little bit more open-minded with the changes that's going to be coming your way. Okay? So, anyway, that's it for you for this week, Leo. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live in the calls, just go visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.